Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we will learn about the CT imaging of gastric adenocarcinoma. First, we will look at the normal stomach CT appearances. These are axial views. On the left, we have the stomach appearing well distended with water, displaying a smooth inner surface. Water is used as a neutral oral contrast agent. The stomach lumen appears darker or hypodense. It helps to distend the stomach without introducing artificial density, making it easier to visualize the stomach's inner lining and differentiate it from the surrounding tissues. The gastric folds or rugae may be visible, particularly in the body and antrum of the stomach. Intravenous contrast material is injected and images are captured during the arterial phase. This enhances the blood vessels and helps highlight the vascular structures and perfusion characteristics of the stomach wall. Normal peristaltic activity can cause variations in the stomach's appearance with temporary changes in the shape and thickness of the gastric wall. The image on the right shows the stomach filled with positive oral contrast medium such as barium sulfate. Positive oral contrast media will make the stomach lumen appear bright or hyperdense. They improve the delineation of the gastrointestinal lumen and wall, making it easier to distinguish between different structures. You can see the normal rugal folds more clearly in this image. These are the rugal folds. The wall thickness at the upper and middle parts of the stomach such as the fundus and body, is between 2 and 3 millimeters. It is greater at the lower parts of the stomach, such as the antrum and pylorus. The image on the left is from the portal venous phase. We have a normal stomach. The stomach wall that is adjacent to the spleen is the greater curvature and the stomach wall near the liver is the lesser curvature. This is the fundus, the upper part of the stomach. The stomach parts are more easily seen in the coronal plane. Gastric adenocarcinoma is a common type of stomach cancer and its features on a CT scan can be quite varied. Increased wall thickness of the stomach can occur in such cases. The wall thickness can be focal, segmental, or diffuse. If the wall thickness is greater than 3 mm in the body, it suggests a pathology. For example, if the gastric body wall thickness is 5 mm, it suggests a pathology. In this case, there is a focal wall thickening. It raised suspicion for adenocarcinoma. After further investigation, it was found to be early stage adenocarcinoma. Air can be used as a negative contrast agent. The air filled stomach will appear black in a CT scan. It can also help in detecting stomach masses. The image on the left shows a stomach with a smooth inner wall. The stomach is partially filled with positive oral contrast medium. No mass is seen in the stomach. The walls are smooth and there is no increased wall thickness or increased wall thickness with enhancement. Both these images are taken during the portal venous phase. In the right image, 
we can see an enhanced wall thickening. The thickened wall shows increased enhancement. You can compare this enhancement with the nearby normal stomach wall. This type of appearance can raise suspicion for any malignant lesion. This was later found to be adenocarcinoma. This is a coronal image showing the stomach. It is filled with water. These small projections are the rugal folds. The stomach wall at the antrum has an increased thickness as compared to the stomach wall in the body. You can see a significant difference. The antral wall thickness is between 5 and 7 millimeters. In the image on the right, there is an enhanced focal wall thickening. It is somewhat irregular. This wall thickness was 5 millimeters. After biopsy samples, it was found to be adenocarcinoma. This was another case of adenocarcinoma. This is the pathology. There is an increased wall thickness and the thickened area shows strong enhancement. An abnormally increased wall thickness can suggest tumor invasion into the muscular layer, but the outside fat tissues appear normal. So this means the outermost layer, the serosa, is not involved. This dark, hypodense area outside the stomach is perigastric fat tissue. Normally it appears dark gray or hypodense. But if the tumor invades the fat tissue, there will be increased density in these fat tissues. This will be called fat stranding or simply infiltration of the tumor into the perigastric fat tissue. This is another image showing an irregular focal wall thickening in the stomach. If the wall thickening or mass shows a crater-like defect, a concave shaped defect, it usually suggests ulceration. You can see this concave shape crater-like defect within the tumor. This type of appearance suggests ulceration. This is an ulcer. This image shows an advanced stage adenocarcinoma. There is a large irregular enhanced mass at the lesser curvature of the stomach. Lesser curvature is the wall that is near the liver. There is an abnormally increased wall thickness. Outside the stomach, we have two rounded enlarged lymph nodes. These are enhanced enlarged lymph nodes. The normal lymph nodes are not really visible, but when they are enlarged, they can be easily seen on a CT scan. The perigastric fatty tissue shows increased density. It is appearing brighter. This suggests fat stranding. The tumor has infiltrated beyond the serosal layer of the stomach and has invaded the lymph nodes and the fat tissues. This suggests metastasis. It is an advanced stage adenocarcinoma. In this image, we can see a large irregular mass which is enhancing with contrast medium, the intravenous contrast medium. There is a crater-like defect, a concave-shaped defect representing ulceration. An abnormally increased thickening of the gastric wall will indicate deeper invasion into the stomach's muscular layers. And if there is evidence of fat stranding or 
and large lymph nodes, it will indicate that the cancer has spread beyond the serosal layer of the stomach. In this image, the irregular stomach mass measured 2 cm. Along with this mass, there was a hypodense lesion in the liver. This was metastasis of the gastric carcinoma into the liver. Here is another case of adenocarcinoma. There is a large enhancing polypoid mass. The abnormally increased size indicates deeper invasion and there is fat stranding. There is some increased density of the fat tissues. This means that the tumor has invaded beyond the serosal layer of the stomach and it indicates an advanced stage cancer. This image also shows an irregular mass in the body of the stomach at the lesser curvature. The mass is enhancing during the portal venous phase. Its abnormally increased size suggests deeper invasion into the muscular layers of the stomach. The perigastric fatty tissue seems to be normal. It has its normal hypodense gray color. So the mass may not have invaded beyond the serosal layer. In this image, there is an irregular mass in the body of the stomach and there is an enlarged lymph node outside the stomach. This rounded high density structure is the enlarged lymph node. This suggests advanced stage cancer. You can see the mass in coronal plane. The irregular mass is seen and we can also see the rounded enlarged lymph node thank you so much for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos